Hi, I'm James Foley. I'm an author and illustrator, and I've got a book called Chicken Saurus, which is a graphic novel, a comic book about chickens that turn into dinosaurs. And I'm going to show you how to draw one of those chicken dinosaurs today. It's actually a cross between a pterodactyl and a duck, though, um, not a chicken, and it's called a pterodactyl. So let's have a go, and I'll show you how to draw it. We'll start with the basic shapes. So let's sketch in um, a, a circle for the head and uh, an oval for the body. Uh, and let's put a neck between the two there. Uh, we've got the crest of the pterodactyls um, on the top of its head, and we've got the beak out here. Now, um, the beak, we're going to have the head on sort of a 3D angle so let's put the eyes in first and then we can figure out how the beak goes so the beak has got to arch across the front of the face like this and then it has a little corner on it and then we'll have the next part of the beak coming out here the front of the beak has a bit of a curve on it and then we can even put a bit of a smile on there and we can put the bottom of the beak there Okay, cool. Let's put the uh, wings. Should we have the wings spread out? Let's have the wings spread out. Okay, we're going to have a line going up and then across. And, um, and then we can put in, we can just roughly sketch in where the wing is going to go. We'll put more detail in in a second. The other wing is going to go behind the head. All right, cool. The tail is going to stick out here. And we're going to have legs. Here, and I'm going to have webbed uh, feet like, like a duck. But we're going to have kind of pointy claws on there. All right, excellent. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. I'm drawing on an iPad, which is why I can do stuff like this. But you might be on uh, paper and pencil, and that works as well. Now we can put in some more detail. Let's have a go. We can go a bit darker on our lines. Pupil in this eye pupil in this eye, um, beak, I might rub out some bits here that we don't need too, we don't need that part of the circle that we drew for the head, or this part, or this part, or this part, um, we could have some of the mouth open, we could even be sticking out his little tongue, <coughs> looks like a daffy duck sort of facial expression. Alright, cool. Let's put the head of the pterodactyl on and the neck. Um, and then we can put this wing on. A couple of fluttery little uh, feathers there. And then these ones can all be really close together all the way out to the middle. And in this corner of the wing, we're going to put a couple more feathers. And then we'll have a bunch of feathers go all the way back to there. And then we can have a third row in the middle of feathers. There we go. Um, let's put some feathery shapes here and a couple of feathery bits kicking out where the, the legs come out of the body. And the tail can be a bunch of feathers back there. And this other wing can just uh, come out from behind the, the head like this. And we'll just put a couple of extra feathers on that one. Okay, legs. Let's draw the claws, one at the back, and then we can put the web feet on after. It's probably the easiest way to draw these. Claws first, and then the web feet. And a couple of lines going down the legs. Now, I'm sorry, I'm probably going very fast, but you can pause this video at any point that you want to, to get me to slow down. Um, very simple. The power of science. All right, cool. Now, pterodactyl, pterodactyl sorry, is very easy to colour in. He's mostly white, so he's simple. But what we can do is we can do um, a few bits in colour. We can do his beak and his legs. So let's do those bits. We need an orange. I'm going to change my brush here as well. You can use colour pencils. If you've got textures, you can use textures. Whatever works for you. Orange beak. I'm not sure what colour to make his tongue. Maybe, I don't know what colour a, a duck's tongue is. Alright, let's colour in the feet first and then we'll come back to the tongue. 
pretty sure we can just make it up. We're not going to have anyone from the International Duck Tongue Society say, You did not the wrong colour, how dare you? Uh, we could even make it a blue colour. Let's see what happens if we do that. Oh, that's got a blue tongue. Or what if we did it a pinky colour? Eh, let's make it like that. Okay, cool. Um, oh, one more bit that's orange, I forgot. He has an orange pattern around his neck like that. Okay, now we can grab, um, grab a brown. And we're going to use the brown really lightly. And we're going to put in some shading in the wings. Now, I might even do it even lighter than that. If you're using colored pencils, you can just shade really lightly. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to put a new layer, and I'm going to make it half transparent. And I'm going to pick a different kind of brush. I'm going to use a charcoal brush. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah. Now I can smudge it. Like you would smudge it if you were using a lead pencil, a colored pencil on the side. I'm going to put some brown underneath the wings here, just to make it seem as if there's some shadows underneath them. A bit of shading underneath the tail, a bit of shading on the bottom of the body here. Might put a bit of shading on the neck there. And a bit of shading on the beak. I'm going to change this layer mode too so that the colours blend a bit. There we go. The shading on oops, my brush is too big. The shading on the back of the crest on the head. The shading on the legs here. And let's um, let's give him some ground to stand on. So pick a colour for the ground. You can make green grass, or you could make dirt, or whatever you like. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some rough dirt here for this guy um, but I'm going to put a bit of grass I'm sure he'd like to have a bit of grass quack quack okay that is the pterodactyl um, so it's spelled like this T oh I'll change my brush it's very smudgy that brush this one will be a bit better. Tarot duck till. So the P is, is silent. That's why you can't hear them go to the bathroom. <laughs>